Hey, Lisa and Ty. It's David Martin, Mr. Smarty Pants, once again at CBS Television City in Hollywood, the set of The Bold and the Beautiful, but this time it's better because I'm with Miss Susan Flannery and Miss Catherine Kelly Lang, two of my favorite actors on the show. Mm -hmm. And Soap Top is giving me a wonderful opportunity to ask you a bunch of questions. So we'll just get right to it. Um, you've both been on the show for 17 years. What were your first impressions of each other, and how have those impressions changed in the time that you've worked together? <laughs> oh, Nobody ever asked me that before. Uh, yeah. I can't wait to hear what she has to say. I thought she was adorable, and I think she's still adorable. Okay. Well, I but thought, I'm known no, to lie. No. <laughs> oh, never. Well, I thought she was the one who, you know, knew it all. She was the woman who knows everything. And I still think she's the woman who knows everything. <laughs> okay. Okay. She was adorable and she's still adorable. <laughs> yeah. And she but what but what but and she started out good, but she's gotten so much better. Oh, she's just turned into a wonderful, wonderful actress. Right. How did you both get these yeah. roles? And Susan, I even understand that you were courted for the role and didn't want it. Did That's you all, true. Did, yeah. How did you get it? You go first. I actually read for the casting director. I did a producer reading, and then they had me come back and they put me on tape. And I did the tape with John McCook. Mm -hmm. and I remember oh, he was did? very nice and very helpful and very uh, yeah, and made it very comfortable. Uh -huh. So uh, from that, I got it. Great. Yeah. I didn't know you tested with John. Yeah. That's great. I, he was playing Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you a piece of gossip that a lot of people don't know. This part was originally offered to Susan Seaforth Hayes. Really? From mm -hmm. Days of Our Lives? Yes. Just like you? Yes. Uh -huh. And for some reason or other, it didn't work out. Uh-huh. And uh, I don't know why. <laughs> Frank Pacelli was a director on Young and the Restless, fabulous director, that had worked with Bill Bell on Days of Our Lives. And he said, Susan isn't doing anything. And so they called me and said, would you come in uh, and, and, and talk with Bill? And I said, oh, I can't come now. It's Christmas. I have too much to do. Uh -huh. So would you come after the holidays? I said, well, I don't know. <laughs> so they called me after the first of the year. Could you come in and talk to Bill now? I said, no, I don't think I could do that now. I'm, I, no, I got something I'm doing. Then they called me a third time. I said, oh, God, all right, I'll come in. So I sat with Bill because uh -huh. I, I didn't really want to do it. <laughs> Isn't that awful to say? And but I don't know why no, I said yes. It is awful yeah. to say. A lot of no, actors no. don't. I mean, you know, we're, we're hoping for something more, something. Oh no! How should I put it? Some, <laughs> like something like big movies. <laughs> <laughs> like but, huge yeah. parts and huge movies. But you know, this right. has actually turned out to be, uh, for me, one of the best jobs I could even ask for. Miss Flannery, you've received in the past four years three Emmy awards. Miss Jennifer Finnegan, Bridget, three. received three in a row. It's time. I've said that for a long yeah. time. Yeah, for, nah, 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 for nah. <laughs> to be recognized as well. I agree. Now, do you think there's a reason? Is it is there a problem with the format of the Emmys, of the awards? Is it the half-hour show, or we just need to campaign harder? We have to campaign harder. Okay. Recently, you made me cry like a baby. When Thorne was leaving Forrester Creations, you were down in his basement office, and you said, Thorne, don't go, and your voice cracked, and I'd really never seen Stephanie quite so broken or hurt. Was it, was it hard to make her that vulnerable, or is it just a part of the character we don't see very often? I think it's just part of the character that, you know, I don't like to show too often. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it wouldn't be any fun, and yeah. you wouldn't cry. That's right, and I did. I right? Did. And speaking of tears, I've often noted on my website, mrsmartypants.org, that you can cry, Catherine, on cue with a single solitary tear down, <laughs> almost just one coming down. Now, is that just something you've worked at, or does it just happen? She had surgery. No, it's so weird. Yeah, I paid up a lot of money to have that little pump put in there that drops that one tear perfectly every time. Oh. No, I just, for some reason, this eye tears more. So... When I have anything coming out, the uh -huh. initial response response will come out of this eye and start with the one. Uh -huh. And actually, I I did get that comfortable with it to be able to do the one t tier on cue. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, because I had to cry every day for the longest you time. Do the two of you have a favorite scene or set or storyline that has always been one of your favorites? Well, one of my favorite scenes is when uh, the... 
they get into a big fight in the board in uh, in, in uh, Eric's room, and and I was supposed to slap her. So I called him and I said, I think she should slap Stephanie back. I said, which has never happened, and I think they'll both be so stunned that they do it to each other, you know. But after and that, then she runs out. <laughs> What, when I slapped you back? Yes. After that, so I, she slapped me, and then Brooke goes, slapped her back, and then Susan's like, nobody's ever going to slap me ever again. And that was true. Nobody ever did. So, Miss Flannery, I read in Soap Opera Weekly that over at Days of Our Lives, where you were Laura Horton for many years, mm -hmm. they have a bronze shoe. Mm -hmm. It's they, true. And that you wore the same pair of pumps every day on the set? For eight and a half years. And why? Same pair of shoes. What? They had no wardrobe. They made they made millions, and they paid no money for wardrobe. The men used to wear the the actors used to bring their own suits in. Really, they get paid ten dollars a day for rental of their suits. Do you believe that? Oh my god! I know. Okay, I then know. I have a question. That's amazing. Where's the other shoe? It's at my house. You still have it? Yeah. When 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 we finished when I finished the show, the the wardrobe. Uh, a fellow said to me, well, what do we do with these shoes? I said, oh, bronze them. Give one to Betty Corday, and I'll take the other one. And Miss Lang, Skate Town, USA. Classic <laughs> roller disco movie of all time. Surely they'll do a DVD, and will you work on the commentary? Will you do the voiceovers? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you see it? Yes, oh I have. Oh, my God. Oh, it's great. So funny. I, but I can't find it anywhere. Well, I have. I, it's like a bootleg video a copy. Bootleg copy. I have a really bad video. I can't yes. even see what's going on. Yeah, that's what I have. I bought it on Canal Street in New York City. <laughs> I can't right. Tell. right. Along with several other things. Right. <laughs> but that and, was Patrick Swayze, one of his first movies, yeah. too, and we, he was playing my brother. Right. But you were, or you were the ingenue. Sister, you were the ingenue. Yeah. I didn't speak too much, but I was there a lot. You were there a lot. You were great. You were great. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. It was delightful to talk to both of you. Great, great to meet you. you. Thank you for taking the time. Sure. Back to Soap Talk. Mm -hmm.